My name's Daniel Bennett, and I'm from Glossop in Derbyshire. My name's Nikki Green, and um, I've lived in Scotland, Nottinghamshire, I'm at Manchester University, but I'm on a placement year up near Aberdeen at the moment. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm, my name's Roger Nolan, and uh, I'm from Dublin in the Republic of Ireland, but uh, at the moment I'm studying ecology in the University of Aberdeen, um, so I'm living there at the moment. Uh, my name is Vincent Sacré, I come from Liège in Belgium, and I'm um, currently a student in ecology at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland. My name is uh, Marihela, and I'm from Finland. And well, now I'm studying in Aberdeen University. What are you studying? Uh, animal biology. Well, my name is Greg O'Neill, and I'm from Tacoma, Washington. Well, currently I'm a fourth year student at the University of Puget Sound in Tacoma, studying biology. This one, if you didn't put your blood inside, they will come and destroy it. Really? Yes! Because you pack everything inside the room, lock it. If you didn't lock it, they'll come inside and destroy everything. Okay. Put away, girl, you're born. Come and see. Come to your side. Joe, I'm away. Hi. <laughs> If they have bread, they will come. Uh, ah. It's okay, looks okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yes, what's up, are you? Ah. This is close enough. You say that if you hold yeah. a bread, you do the like they'll come near you like this. Mm. Dangerous. They're not biting you. Well, my back is appointed.
Why you leave me? Yeah. yeah. Why you leave me? Ah, uh, I don't leave you. You leave me. Let me know. Just get green off. Mm. So I blew the whistle. Ah. Uh, I blew the whistle too. Yeah? Whistle so, here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, right. So I came out. Ask me what what happens to No problem. Yeah. Looking for that. Yeah. So, oh. Hey, these wrong teeth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, thanks George. We'll see you in a while. Well, we got a bit bored in Accra. Um, it's a pain in the ass going out on public transport and trying to work every morning and then getting back at night. Because by the time you've been out for a meal and had a dance and done your work and gone to bed, it's time to get up again. So we thought the best thing is, we'll leave the big bad city behind, we'll come to Shire Hills where it's clean and beautiful. And it gives us a chance to check all the equipment over, get used to working in a team in the bush. We do work, stand to work, to work to work. Alright, and uh, good shot. Good shot, Greg caught Dragonfly. It gives us a chance also to calibrate all the make sure everything's in working order for the rest of the team arrives tomorrow night. And, uh, uh, I've completely lost track of what I'm saying. Completely lost track of what I'm saying. What we're going to do here is, Greg's going to find loads of dragonflies. He's already found about 20 species this morning while we wait for breakfast. And we go up on, in this great big mountain over here. There's the mythical animal, Mamkam Seeker. So I would say it's the biggest monitor lizard in Africa. And he's got a hole up there, a very, very deep hole. Um, Simon's going to build some traps to try and catch him. We've got some Sherman traps in case he's got any babies hanging about. We might be able to get our hands on. Um, but we're also meant to be counting the baboons. But I think that might wait till August. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Now Somewhere 
When we came the foreign money somewhere here, that's the bread. The back of there, the bread. Go and check in. If you didn't see, we brought the car. Then we pack the food inside. From if we join the transport to this woman, then we meet. He's doing his own business in Accra, driver. He's got his own business. Too. We want to go visit your wife. Tell her that oh, I want to visit my wife before I go. Yeah. You tell her to say that you are going to meet him, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we got to Shower Hill, was his plan last night, and we should have stayed overnight at Shower Hills and then gone straight to Massey. But the driver is a bit delinquent, and uh, he decided he wanted to come back to Accra for some business of his own. So we're back in Accra, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, he's left, is it? He's gone off, he's got all our passports, all our belongings in the truck. Will he come back? No. This is called Pito. Uh, yeah, this is Pito. Made from uniform uh, bulbs. Yeah, all the same, same as Brian. Thank you. Thanks. That's fine. I don't know colors. I don't know. a place to sleep and giving us food. Now the business is to start. And I uh, want to yeah. so now here in we we have this time of the year we have this uh, simelian fries. They give the oncocytes that affects eyesight. So we, we need to take that precaution measure. You are in long sleeves, yes. trousers, socks, socks if you are not in boots, yeah, just to, that is in the, during the daytime, that is important. And then uh, when we are out in the bush, the, uh, the human spirit, every, every other creature fears the human spirit, but we need to be careful about snakes and other things. Yeah. So that if there's anything you want to do in the field, maybe you just find out if I do this, is it okay? Yeah. We are concerned about your health. And then we want to, we want you to go back to UK healthier than you can. Yeah. 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 And then with the food too, whatever you want to take, which you haven't tasted before, 
you find out if it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think uh, to add to Brian, uh, while in the field, I think I don't know how you are going to organize yourselves, but I don't think that you'll be working, you know, separately. separately. No. Yeah. No. What we're hoping is that the rule is that if anyone, I'm sorry, you've not seen the rules, have you, Frank? Because no. we never yeah. sent them to the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, okay. Right. No one goes in the field without uh, one of your officers, oh, okay. or yeah. Brian, yeah. or one of these two, yeah. Victoria. We have, uh, you know, in the park, a lot of poaching goes on. So we have, uh, well, you have uh, salt lakes. People are, you know, they attempt uh, trapping animals. They set this uh, type of uh, gin, gin traps, mm -hmm. very big, uh, huge ones. If you are caught in that thing and... Uh, Do you know what a gin trap is? You, clear yeah, you, have, a, you so have a look at one, one in his office. Yeah, that's one in the office. They it's are like quite huge. Yes. If, if you get into it, I guess you, yeah. If there's no assistance, you are locked up there. Two metal teeth. But yeah. uh, like he's saying, we are going to be with the field staff. Yes. So that if we are in the field, you just want to stroll or look at something, you talk to any of the field staff who will, so that he goes with you. But he will, he will go ahead of you. If, if he sees something like that, he then he stops you. Him. Don't go this way. This is dangerous. Yeah. So it's not just to scare, but we have guards, proper yeah, uh, trained yeah. we're guards. We're going to have experienced yeah. guards, yeah. Yeah. So no, so no, 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 no problem. Yeah. Well, we, maybe we are back from the field, you will feel bored, you want to walk around, yeah. you just get one of them yes. and then you will go yeah. around. To, we will bring you back safely. Yeah. This is the concern. Yeah. yeah. So we hope okay. that, yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah, no, That's nice. brilliant. <laughs> hey, thanks, thanks, and thanks, 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 we are, all, we, are at, we are all ready to assist at, at any, any time. So any time you want to do anything, you want to go out to the field, just say, we feel bored, we are ready, we'll get somebody to go. Yeah, brilliant. Make bed watching, whatever it is. Just to wear a video camera. Look at that Eight, eight pitfall uh, are not, uh, it's not much, we can, we'll be able to get, dig it, yeah. um, pitfalls, and then maybe uh, the, the traps, whatever traps you want to set, yeah. Yeah. to try if we can get a few rodents tomorrow morning, but we will have to look at them very early in the morning, by yeah. 6, 6 30 we should be there, yeah. even though it will be wet, because the grass will still have dew on it. Yes. Very beautiful. Yeah. Most Francis. You are my master. Francis no want me to call him master, but you are the senior. Francis born 1956. <laughs> Roughly 40, 41 years now. <laughs> You were born in 56 January. No. Francis can doubt. Don't doubt, you are my master. And I will train you how to catch African python to the end of grace of God. Mm -hmm. Spitting cobra. And this, oh, that's the first thing to me to see. Today. Spitting cobra, no problem. Okay. Yeah. We can get it very easy. We'll get it, we'll catch it easy too. Just wipe it clean, you can use it. You see, they, they started flowering. The pumpkin started flowering. Yeah? And the, the profit can be very good.
How do you think we're all coping with being here? Uh, all the complaints I guess are about the amount of noise I make in the evenings. Mm -hmm. So, as far as I'm concerned, I think everyone's coping all right. I think so. No, are you coping? I'm fine. You're, cool, right? You're fine. I'm fine. Everyone's fine, as far as I'm aware. Fish isn't fine though. Fish aren't great. No, the fish are very unhappy about it. Fish well, uh, to go home. They will be fine once they collect the bat on them. Okay, into the jar. Yeah. So apart from that, sort of, any worries about um, what's going to happen? Yeah, serious worries about a few things. No. What? Uh, I'm supposed to be getting thesis out of this summer or other and I'm just not going to have time to do it. So that's one thing I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. Because we're not even underway yet, so I've got no idea. And I wouldn't trust anyone using mist nets until I see someone put one up properly and get bats out without hurting them. And yeah, so I'm concerned about that. The nocturnal mammal survey and treehouse stuff, well, we can't really do anything about it till Moses comes. And there's lots of I can feel it in patience, so everybody wants to get on with it this time. We've got no drinking water at the camp either. No way we can do that. So before we move out to that camp, we've got to have a reliable source of safe drinking water. We have to treat the water with aluminium sulfate because it's much, much, much too muddy. We can't treat it through ceramic filters. It'll clog up as soon as we only filter about half a litre of water and the old thing will clog up. So we've got to flocculate it first with aluminium sulfate. We've got to get the right dosage of aluminium sulfate. Otherwise, we'll all end up with some horrible degenerative brain disease. Um, but we've got to cook. We've got a brilliant cook. So we're not going to go hungry. Uh, the hippopotamus, no one's seen a hippo yet. A complete disaster with hippos. No one's seen a hippo. The river's too flooded to watch them the way I hope to do it. Paul Karib is a wildlife department man who's uh, at university in Kamasi and he's done his thesis on the hippopotamus population in Black Volta River. So we went to see him when we first got here and um, told him what we were doing. He said it would be very helpful for us if we knew what he'd done and if he'd come with us and act as a scientific advisor for the hippo survey. He said it's fine, no problem, come by in a week's time, I'll get a copy of the thesis ready. And then when the thesis, so we went around a week later, and uh, he's got it there all bound up, and it's not very big. Right, it's about 60, 70 pages, and it's all bound up and looking quite nice. He says, right, what will you give me for it? I says, well, how much will it cost? How much did it cost to make it? 
He said, oh, well, first he said 600 pounds. And at that point, I just thought, right, I'm not wasting time. This man, you know, if he's not prepared to help, if he's just interested in making money out of it, then I'd sooner, you know, just not bother at all. So I left. And, uh, but he followed us out to the car, and then we all started talking about it. And in the end, he started saying he wanted 200,000 CDs, which is about $200 exactly. $100 for a copy of his thesis. And, but you see, he knew he had us by the testicles, really, because there is no other work on the hippopotamus in the Black Volta. So if we were going to do any meaningful work in, obviously we've got to know what's gone before. So he wants $100 for it. So in the end, what we did was we gave him 40 quid for it and told him to fuck off. So well, I didn't have any sympathy with him at all. I thought if he wanted help us, he could have helped us. And if he just wanted money, then... Well, he's got his money. I presume he's happy. We're not very happy because his thesis is shite. We should have read it before we paid him. Because the problem he's got is that he's got no way of knowing whether the hippos he's counting, or that he doesn't know whether he's counting the same hippos every day or not. He's got no way of identifying the individual hippos. So therefore, his, uh, his census results are extremely dubious. He says there's 200 hippos in the but for all we know, he's counting the same 20 hippos 10 times. There's really no... Uh, the method he's used isn't good, but I suppose with facilities available to him, it's probably the best he could do. He spent a long time, he's got a great deal, of, he would have been a great asset to this team. But the fishermen want to take them down to look at the hippos in these little canoes. And canoes are well scared. I mean, we nearly lost me, two fishermen, and Batori yesterday, when uh, the canoe nearly capsized, when we were trying to take a water cobra out of a tree. And that was it was enough, and now the fishermen want to uh, take us down the river in the same flimsy canoes with these bright orange and yellow life jackets on. To see the hippopotamus. Well, the hippopotamus is going to be more than surprised to see these huge orange and yellow fluorescent monstrosities floating down the river. And they definitely won't react the same way they do when fishermen go past. Definitely not. He's very dangerous, the hippopotamus. Very, very dangerous. And from what I've seen so far, I've got no idea how we conduct a safe hippopotamus survey in this area at this time. And if we don't find a way to do it quite soon, we'll have to abandon it. Which will really piss the sponsors off, because that's why they're giving us the money to a hippo survey. But it's far, I haven't seen a way of doing it safely yet. The river's too flooded to look at them from the land. And we don't really have the facilities to look at them from the water. Mm. Well, I think we can stop if you want. I think it might be a good idea, yeah. Must be one of the best interviews you've had in a while, our friends, as well. Well, that would be really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> should we go out misery? There you go. Mm. Like you should have done it the day I was healthy, instead of picking the, the one day. One day I've been here when I feel under the weather. Yeah. You'd have to be a full thing, just a spe species list to do. It has enlightened us very much, in the sense that no, we've not seen much of wildlife here, apart from your, your presence here. So your presence here has actually, you know, reactivated our interest in wildlife. And... Uh, Besides that, you know, well, uh, some of us do not know much about this thing, but with the presence of the fish, fishes that you have brought here, brought here, it has given us an insight about what is happening in wildlife, most especially when we are novices, we don't know, know much about wildlife. Well, I was here when they dissected a fish, and I saw a cricket in the fish. I was so surprised because fisheries is not part of our business. And then, well, apart from that, you know, we have not been able to do that sort of, you know, uh, dissection. 
So therefore, well, it has given us the opportunity to see on first hand something about fisheries. Thank you.
members that don't know him. This is Brian, he's senior wildlife officer, Red Quarters. He lived here for many years and he's been down on that craft for a long time. He's senior officer on expedition, so he's really boss <coughs> for the whole thing. He's a big man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Everyone else to introduce themselves. And we'll start with Francis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he doesn't exist. He's behind the camera. I'm Francis. I don't exist. <laughs> and, if, and if you stare at the camera and make faces, he'll tell you how to get it out. <laughs> just, 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 what I've, what I've got, what, 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 what I've got, I've got the camera, just forget I'm here. Alright, so yeah, I'm also Francis. Another Francis? Yeah, I'm also Francis. <laughs> 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 oh, I got one. I'm Amy. I'm Michael. Michael. I'm Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Finch, not Winch. <laughs> Senior Irish member. <laughs> Ken, second Irish member on command. We're surrounded by Irish. He's here in third, uh, third Paddy, very similar brother. Uh, I'm Roger and I'm the last but not the least Irish member. <laughs> yeah. Roger's a scientific officer of the expedition, so all the results that we get and everything like that, you can expect to discuss it with him. Uh, so you keep, you keep a record, make sure everyone's on track. Thank you. Anybody else want food? No, I'm great. Yeah, actually. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm old, I'm, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Join the crowd. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the youngest along with it. I wasn't away, you were playing. <laughs> <laughs> this what I have, this Batori, they're animal experts mm -hmm. on this expedition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Then there's the girl by the door. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. she, she can take Mario. Mario. Can she can take it to Mario. It would be just to look at what animals are in the flooded area. <laughs> When you asked when she yesterday, for the filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Then. We give it to Greg, and then we can see if we can. Or did you get a large funnel? Yeah. Okay. I took the large type of one. Yeah. I'll show it to you. Come here. Yeah, no problem.
Yeah, this one must be.
Fresh, I reckon.
Et puis c'est là-bas, on se dit là-bas. Il est besoin de la Just fall. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's threatened us. 